hey guys i'm back again with another video um i this time this is a video i'm going to well, i'm going to be talking about how i became a fan of my queen alessia Cora. like when i discovered her when i saw her live and how i became a fan of her and what got me into her and all that stuff i don't have any videos of when i saw her live or anything like that because i didn't have a good phone at the time but hell for now I don't know how many pictures or videos, but please just take this as it is. So, um, you know, I didn't see her the, uh, the time that she, like, when her Know It All album came out in 2015. I discovered her, like, later on, like, in, I think it was, like, 2018, when it all began that, when it was, like, when me and my sister Lou would go to, um, the library and we always had to check out albums and my sister checked out her was just know-it-all album and we would play that album like wherever we went I mean you know what I was like well I really like this this album I really like all the souls are here like from 17 all the way to scores to your beautiful just became so good and um it was like, and then, there was like, it was just, and then during the time with, um, and what it was like, we, and then it was like a Tway, like, this is like, I mean, Tway, she had just released her, her new out in November. 30th, 2018, that year that she released her new album called Pains of Growing. And, um, you know, and then when we, when that came out, we, you know, we liked that was so much, and we started, became a fan of her, and then it was like, and then I started going to her, and then whenever we heard, at first when I heard Soul, the Soul Scars to Your Beautiful, I was like, wait, I think I heard that somewhere, because I think I heard it in stores. So, and then also we, uh, you know, and then how I got into her was that I started, you know, subscribing to her YouTube channel. I watched all her videos. And then she did like this I or as anything chat. And I, and I, I, I sent a, it was, it's a website where you could like ask your, uh, your favorite artist any questions at all. And then. My question it was just simple. I asked her, was her mom in the 17 music video? And I wasn't sure she was going to answer it, but the day that came when she was going to answer all fans' questions, I was so surprised when she brought me up when she was like, Laura says, is your mother in the 17 music video? Is she the woman's ex to her brother? And she was like, yeah. And, you know, and I was just so surprised. And then I started really into her. I started watching her videos. I really loved all of them, and we, and I started following her social media accounts, her Instagram and her Twitter, and then the year 2019 IT came, which she had just announced she was going to be opening for Shaw Mend. I mean, to me, and then that because both she and Sean are Canadian, um. And also, it was like, what did we had they, they had that same year, we, my mom, my mom and so kids in our neighborhood, we were going to go to Walmart because she was trying to help. She had to get something for a friend of ours, for a friend of hers. It was, and then we went to Walmart and that I, I well, I went to Electronics and then I saw a copy of the Know It All album, but I didn't get it at the time. It was but it was like the day after that, we went back in there because our my mom's friend, Miss Emma, needed something else. And so I went and I, and then when I went back and to like Charles there to see if they had it, and they did. They only had one copy of it. It was just for $10. I was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and get it. And so, um, yes, and I did buy a copy of Pins of Grown when it was released on November 30th, and then, like I said, but that was the year before it, and then, 
and then it was like middle of April when my mom was having a party for all the people of April, which was my sister, a friend of hers, and and our aunt Paula, who's, you know, it's like she had bought regular records and then her, and then we were all discussing about like who we like to see next in concert. My sister mentioned John Legend, and I said I would have. And I was like, I went to go see the girl we were listening to in the car. Um, was it her? And then my sister was like, oh, yeah, I really would like to see her do it. She told or oh, friends that she's Canadian. She is actually a good singer. And she really is. I'm not going to lie. I love all her music. And so, you know, and then it was like, hey, you know, she, I, I was good to see her in the summer when she announced she was touring with Shaw. And... First of all, I was good there. It was good to be in the summer in DC, but but it was but it, but it was too hot. And then again, my mom and sister had to work that the day of the concert, so I was like, you know what? I'll just wait until she announces her own tour. So it was like after she after she was the tour with so then she started tour with this other guy who's a Canadian named Riley James. I, um, you know, I don't really do like him. And then it was like, and then just like after her last tour date with Sean, she was like, and then that's when she released her EP called This Summer. And he had said how she was going to miss it. Went over in the song called October. Um, I, and then it was like, they just in, I think it was in the middle of July, that tickets had started going on sale for a lesson card. No one, you know, say that she was going to do her old tour, or she was bringing her old tour to the U.S. She called it the Paisley Girl slash this summer tour. And, um, you know, and then I, when I looked up to see if there were any dates, and I saw what they said. Saturday, October 26, 2019. And I said, this was, a, this, that was a day we, we could all go because my sister was working with a company called Maypro and they let her keep one of their company cars for a while because her car wasn't working right. And I was telling her, I was like, could we go to this? I really would love to go, and this is a day where we could all go where y'all, where you and Bob don't have to work. And my sister was like, "We'll see." I said, at first, my sister was scared because about using the uh, company's car to go there. And yeah, at first, I thought we could like get a rental car for so that I didn't have any money, but but it was like, but then after a while, after a you meant to hesitate, and my sister would agree. She was like, you know what? You know, I would like to go since I like Alessia Cora, too. And since we don't have anything to do, and I'm all this day, and I'm all for the, the day, so she went and go. And I bought my ticket real early. I bought my ticket right when the tickets will sell. And I got a good seat in the front because get it. Like, if you buy your tickets when, you, when they first go on sale, they... Um, you could get the seats where the best prices, and mine was my ticket was seventy dollars. So, um, so it was so, and my sister didn't get hers until the day of the concert, and they were still going on. And I was like, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and so the day of the so. It was the day of the concert, Saturday, October 26, that it, we had all got ready. And I was the first one to wake up at 7 o'clock, get my clothes on, get my hair done, and, and you know, and get things straightened out around the house. And my sister and mom didn't get up until like 8 or 9 because I wanted to get an early start going to this concert. And... And then it was like then we were all excited. So at first, so we headed out. So we all got ready. We headed out the door, and um, and 
and we are at first for uh, at first we went to the library because we had to go because we had to print our tickets yeah so we did that first and then we stopped at Walmart to get gas and but the thing about it is that that we we also forgot the CDs because it's normally that's our thing that whenever we go on our way to our favorite artist concerts we like to we listen to them all the way and so I forgot them. and then also so anyway we were on our way to the concert you know and we and we you know and we stopped at like three Wawa gas stations. And then finally we got to the room which is called the Anthem, which is the video where we go to Sierra. And first we at first the couldn't call because we didn't know where to park. And then it was like then we saw a lot of people walking down the street and we were kinda of confused of where the venue was and then somebody told us that the venue was right where the a lot of people were about to stay in line. Before the and we and we actually got there pretty early for the doors open. We got there like around five thirty, and the doors didn't open until seven. See, so anyway, we got in there. As soon as they opened the doors, I said to these two girls, and they were real nice. And we told I talked with them, and they told me, "Oh, where is it?" They so, and it was I really liked the video because it was like. They go one place. It was like, yeah, like these doors that right, led right to the. There was like they led right if you needed to the bathroom. Like everything was just right there. Like you didn't have to go into outside of another building to like if you had to go to the bathroom. Or so. It was so like right there. Rylan James came on at Ira, him had, yeah, when he sung this song called "In My Head," and then he said. Uh, Oh, his other song said that he said that we was over by Louis Capaldi and all that. And, and then was like, then after he left, um, then Alyssa Clark came when she came up with her. Then she was like, Pay the Girl Reprise came on, and then. You know, it was like she was gorgeous, and then everybody screamed. And even I did. I was, oh my god! So and then my sister said somewhere with some other people in the back, and then it was like a then, you know, hip for and then she went for with, then she went from for like growing pains to like here, for um. Today, and then it was like, and then I really liked the whole set where it was like, it's her in her bedroom. Like, when she was singing the song called Not Today, they had like these visuals of like, like, it will, they look like it's right in her bedroom. And here's the note. And then it was like, and then when she was singing the song Stay, I was like jumping up and down. And I was just so excited. And then I, me and some other people kept going. Let's just say so that she would take our hands. She never took mine. Oh, she, I was right there. She could, and the, you know, and we stayed there for. Oh, the coaster did, didn't, didn't, and until it did like around like ten o'clock, and then it was like, then overall this was like the best coaster I've been to, and then it was like, and then after we. Left, I mean, and then after we left, we, um, you know, we, and then it was like after the concert was over, we left. Our mom came to get us, and we stayed at this Walgreens store for her to get. And then she came to get us, and then it started raining. And then we just, yeah, then my, me and my sister were so happy. And I had an iPhone 5C at the time, and my, I had to use my phone because for some reason when we got there, her flip phone, you know, was out of service. And anyway, I'm just so happy about this experience of how 
you know, and I really love Alessia. I really hope she goes on tour with Asia Word. Uh, we'll call it in the meantime. And this time we'll read the CDs, you know, to play with we she goes. I, you know, and I would say that this would 10 out of 10, that this is the best concert I've been to because it wasn't expensive and it, 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 it this. And then we always go to DC for our favorite concerts. And so we, um, Yeah, you know, and then it is like this is a better also we and and then it was like there there as we drove to go back home her Virginia we it's like we looked at the sides like well I mean we didn't have time to look at the sides even though I wanted to. And then we saw like the Lake of Memorial and White House and all that and then it started raining. And we didn't come back until like I guess like two or like three o'clock in the morning because it was a three-hour drive dc is three hours here from virginia where i live and um and also it also it was like the day after that was sunday and we didn't go to church because we were just too tired we were just too tired to go because get it like after you had a little travel, just go back home. We, you don't really feel like going anywhere else. You go well the day and um, I'm well, I really said that I didn't get meat and grit because no meat grit was one hundred ninety dollars. I was trying it, but it went so fast. But but I hope that. If she goes on Twitter share, I really hope she does. I'm gonna try to buy myself a mean green now that I got now that I'm working a part time job at Home Depot. You know, so that I can save up in for it. Hey, anyway, if anyway, that's my stories and my tell about how I became available. Let's see for if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you.